Hi everybody, welcome back to Steve's Garage. In a previous video, I unboxed, assembled, and reviewed this DeWalt shop vac and compared it to my older rigid shop vac. This uses DeWalt's Stealth Sonic technology and they claim up to 50% quieter operation when compared to your standard shop vac. You can check out that comparison here. In this video, I'm gonna take this vacuum and compare it to two household vacuums I have. I really wanna see the decibel level of a shop vac compared to a house vac. So I've got a cordless handheld Dyson and then a corded stand-up shark. And we're gonna see how this stacks up to those. Keep in mind that there's an entire process behind accurately measuring the decibel level of something. In this video, I'm just using a Pixel 6a on a phone stand and putting it next to the vacuum and measuring the decibel levels. Because of that, the decibel value itself is less important than the difference in the values. So we're gonna be looking at the difference between the vacuums, not necessarily the value that comes up on the phone. So the first thing we wanna do is establish a baseline. That's about 30 decibels of ambient noise in my garage, which is really nothing. It jumps up to 60 when I start speaking. And from here, we're gonna turn the DeWalt vacuum on and see how loud that is. According to the phone reading, the DeWalt vacuum measures in at about the same decibel level as me speaking, which is pretty quiet for a vacuum. From here, let's move on to that handheld Dyson vacuum. Since we already have the DeWalt, I'm not gonna test it again even though it's sitting here. I'm just gonna go straight to the Dyson. So you can see that the Dyson is slightly louder than the shop vac, but the pitch is also different, which I think is the biggest difference between the two. That higher pitch makes it sound louder even though the decibels are pretty close. And now for the stand-up shark. I know you can't see it. I wanted the camera focused on the phone screen showing the decibel reading so it's slightly out of frame, but it is next to the phone and you can hear it when it turns on. So according to this decibel reading, the Shark is not only louder than a handheld Dyson, but also a DeWalt shop vac, which is just incredible for the DeWalt shop vac. I mean, the fact that a shop vac is quieter than the vacuum that I use to clean my house is just awesome. And last but not least, I do want to include the comparison to the rigid vacuum. This was covered in the previous video, but for the sake of thoroughness in this video, I want to include three different types of vacuums compared to the DeWalt Stealth Sonic vacuum. The Rigid is by far the loudest of the bunch, which again, maybe doesn't come as a surprise because it is a shop vac. This is a little bit older of a model that I tested, but the newer model is just cosmetic changes, so you can expect the same kind of performance out of the newer model as this older one that I tested here. So at this point you're probably thinking, great, it's a quiet vacuum, but is it any good and should it be the one you spend your money on? To answer that first question, it's been great. It's done everything the Rigid did and everything I think a shop vac should do, just quieter which is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to use it in the garage without hearing protection, and I've used it in the house when people are sleeping and they didn't wake up. So this thing's been perfect for me. As for if it's the vacuum that you should purchase, unfortunately, the answer I have to give is it depends. It depends on what you want out of a vacuum. If you're looking for the quietest operation, this is it. It is, however, lacking an exhaust port. If that's an important feature to you, this one's off your list. Me personally, I've never used the exhaust port on a shop vac. I I don't, I don't care that it's not there. <laughs> your best bet is to go online and research some major brands, find the features that you're looking for, and buy the vacuum that best suits your needs, quiet or not. If you are interested in purchasing one of these, please feel free to check out my Amazon affiliate link in the description below. I'll earn a small commission from your purchase and it won't cost you anything extra. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I never thought I'd be here making a video comparison of the volume level of vacuums. I feel like I've been watching too much Project Farm, but here we are. If you're interested in the full unboxing, review, and assembly of this vacuum, you can watch that video here. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>